Hi everyone, I'm Nilkraft Dani. This is Floss to number 109, and I'm here to show you my um, works pro progress. Um, and all of them, or all of those that I stitched on last week. Um, last week was quite a good stitching week, actually, I think, except for yesterday, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Um, and yeah, basically, I have less than an hour until I need to leave for work. So I really hope to actually get this video at least filmed. There's no way I get it edited before I need to leave, but I really do uh, hope I will be able to actually film everything. So hopefully I can upload um, this evening. The lighting situation isn't great. Um, it's just barely bright enough um, that I'm actually able to film this video. But as I said, I have to leave very shortly. And uh, when I come back, it will be already dark again. So this is the only time. <laughs> so let's get started. So hopefully I can actually do this. Um, as you might know, I have already finished all my year-end goals on all of my projects. And therefore, I decided to rotate through my projects once again. Um, to touch all of them again, to revisit them, because some of them, it has been more than half a year since I stitched on them. Um, <clears throat> and to just get a little bit extra um, progress in every single one. So, yeah, I'm stitching on a different project every day, and therefore I have a project line next to me. So, last week, on Monday, I had already shown you which project I would be stitching on in my last video. And that's a project I did stitch on. The project is Super Size Max Color Once Upon a Fairy Tale. It's charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. The artwork is by Amy Stewart. This is going to be the finished piece, and I'm up here in this corner. So I show you a picture of what it looked like last time here. And this is where I got to. So basically, I started the next uh, diagonal. I'm stitching this in 10 by 10 blocks. And I did finish five blocks. Um, so until down here, those three um, were kind of easy and nice stitching. And then I started this one and it got confetti hell. <laughs> this one and this one as well. They were both really confetti heavy and took way longer than I would have liked to. Um, but I got 500 stitches in, so that's pretty amazing, um, and I'm really happy with that and how it's turning out overall. Um, I just, I love it. Up there, where you can see those first trees in the distance and um, in the dark, and it, I just, I love how this looks. It is stitched on a 40 count Newcastle linen. I'm stitching one over one ten stitch. Needle minder is from Lakeside Needlecraft. And yeah, it's amazing. I cannot wait to get back to this. Next year, I only want um, very few stitches on this one, even less than this year. But I just love it. And I can't wait for the time where this actually gets a priority piece. Um, and I will make good progress on it. That I, I really wish for that time to come soon. Next year isn't a time. <laughs> It's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. Yeah, that's that. As I said, I don't have a lot of time, so I should stop. Sorry. Um, I should stop uh, wasting time showing my projects. That was actually my alarm because um, when I finished preparing everything I needed for this video, it was still way too dark to actually film, so I had about 15 minutes to sleep and I used those and <laughs> that was the alarm. <laughs> okay, on Tuesday I then moved on to my next project and that next project was Medicating Cruncher, also by Heaven Enough Designs. The hard artwork is by Hannah Lynn and this is going to be the finished piece. So I show a picture of what it looked like last time here. And I actually managed to get one column completely done, and that's so amazing. Um, I bring it a little bit closer. 
So I did this column over here and whenever there are four or less stitches in the same row of the color I end the row with, um, I move into the next column to stitch those as well. So you, you can see I did stitch those skin colors over there, which means over there the, the, uh, the skin stops again and there actually will be the eyebrow for the other eye. So that's exciting. <laughs> That is going to happen in this next uh, column, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, this is my mini and Katie, mini Katie and Cruncher. I do now have more than 20,000 stitches stitched in this one, and I think I'm getting close to 30%. So yeah, that's nice. She stitched on a 25 count even weave. I'm stitching two over one ten stitch. Needleminder is from Denker Designs, and She's beautiful. Slowly but surely I'm making progress and I can't wait to actually see her second eye. That will be very exciting. Yeah, here we go. Um, <clears throat> and this day while stitching was kind of easy and I enjoyed it and I made a lot of progress. I did make a short stitching break to actually get my third COVID shot. Um, and on Tuesday itself, so I got the shot uh, and at 2 p.m. So um, on Tuesday itself, I had no problems on, at all. <clears throat> on Wednesday, I did not feel good. <laughs> um, I was just, I was a uh, really tired. Um, I basically, basically slept the whole day and then 15 hours that night um, and on Thursday I finally felt better. Nevertheless, I tried stitching on Wednesday because the progress, or sorry, the project on Wednesday was Colorway Mountains by Glenn and Kate. This is the finished piece. I show a picture of what it looked like last time here. And this is where I got to. But I did not stitch all of that on Wednesday. On Wednesday itself, I did stitch, I think, four of the part threads. Um, so I did about 100, maybe 150 stitches, and I packed it away. I just, I was not feeling good at all. I couldn't concentrate. Um, I started to get a, back, uh, a headache. My back hurt, so I couldn't really sit and not a good day. I don't know if the back hurt actually came with the vaccine or if that just was a coincidence, but it was just pretty much a shitty day for stitching. <laughs> um, but on, on Tuesday and we come, uh, on Thursday, we get to that in a bit, um, I basically was done with my project and decided to um, come back to this one and at least finish the call. So that's what I did. I finished that column, especially because this is one of the projects I want to finish next year. And I really plan to get a head start in, maybe do the column I started, finish that one and stitch the next one. And it just <laughs> did not happen quite that way. Um, but yeah, this is this piece so far. It's beautiful. I love it. Um, there was one of or a few of those stitches actually did not stop. So I now have, I think, 55 more stitches and I will have reached the end of the design, which will not happen anytime soon. I'm presently stitching page five and there are seven pages each row. Um, but after page five, I will move down into this page again to do those diagonal pages. It is stitched on a 25 count even weave. I'm stitching two over one ten stitch needle binder from Danka Designs. And it's so beautiful. I really, really enjoy this piece. So that's also one of the reasons I want to finish it next year. And it is my first ever full coverage piece. So, not, yeah, the first I ever started. It's not the first I finished because I already did finish one full coverage piece last year. Um, but so <laughs> I'm really looking forward to getting back to this project. So as I said, on Thursday, I then felt better. I 
felt really good actually. Um, and I stitched on my next project. The project was Tiger Chilling Out by Dimensions. So I show a picture of what it looked like last time here. And this is where I got to. So I finally started finally started in the bottom half. And um, most of those are 10 stitches, so they were really fast. Um, but after a while, I just did not feel like it anymore. Doing a three-stranded half stitch is kind of annoying. So that's why I decided to, to put it away. I felt good with the progress I made and moved back to Colorado Mountains. I'm close to finishing that first column. The columns will get longer um, the more I move into the middle. Um, but for now, I'm nearly, nearly done with that first column. So I'm really happy about that. And as I said, I just, I did not feel like stitching anymore. So I didn't, <laughs> not on this project at least. It is stitched on an 18 count black Ada. I'm stitching, or the tiger stitched two over one full crosses. And um, yeah, everything in the water, the reflections are stitched one, two or three stranded um, half stitches. I bring it a little bit closer. It's really not good to show with the, with the black fabric, but this is it. Still happy with the project. Also one I want to finish next year. Um, it is my oldest ever cross stitch. Um, it is my oldest project. And I really, I really want to get it done. So yeah, hopefully that happens next year. And the sun is starting to get really annoying. Um, I think you can still see the project kind of good. We will try with the next one. Otherwise I have to see how we deal with that. Um, okay. On Friday, I then moved on to Four Seasons. I have enough designs the artwork is by Jesse Gerka. This is going to be the finished piece and with this one I stitch in 20 by 20 blocks over the whole width of the pattern and then I move down and go into the next row of 20 by 20 blocks and go again over the whole width of the pattern. So I show a picture of what it looked like last time here. And this is really complicated to show. So this is more or less the whole thing. I did work in here. This is my second row and I'm working on those, those 20 by 20 blocks, as I said. Um, basically, I had this block um, started, so I finished that. And then I started with the next 20 by 20 block. And yeah, I think I did about 500 um, stitches overall. So I'm happy with that. And yeah, it looks amazing. Is amazing. I really love stitching on this one. It takes a long time because it's full cross, um, but I just I love this piece. Um, it's it's really fun to stitch. This is stitched on a 25 count even weave. I'm stitching one over one full crosses. Needleminder from Denka Designs, and yeah, I can't wait to continue with this one to move over to the other side. Um, it's really fun, a lot of fun. So. I actually get the whole piece in. That, that's amazing. Um, it's getting super hard to take pictures, or it is super hard since basically I was over here. <laughs> um, so in Instagram, I actually just pictured a small piece um, to show where, where I stitched on because it's so wide and not very tall yet. So it's really hard, hard to take pictures. But this is where I got to. So happy. <laughs> okay, I need to roll this. So that's a little bit more complicated than with other projects. Because the fabric is really big, really wide, and kind of sloppy. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Um... Then we move on to Saturday. And on Saturday, I did stitch on Dragon Lancer by Heaven of Designs, the artwork is by Anne Stokes. This is going to be the finished peach piece. 
it is very huge so basically I'm right now stitching in the top left corner so I show you a picture of what it looked like last time here and this is where I got to so basically I did stitch in this page over here I want to finish this page and I move the first column from left to right top to bottom completely down, take the first color that's missing, complete that over the whole page, and then I move on to the next column. So I think I did four or five colors, um, and a few of them had quite a few stitches. I did stitch a bit more over here, um, that's already in the next pages, um, but whenever I have finished all the stitches of the color I presently do on the page, I just continue stitching in the next and the joining pages to finish my thread and that's why there's quite a bit more of progress in here as well. Um, and basically I did stitch with all those dark colors and filled in a lot of those tree branches. Um, the next color that is missing has probably more than a thousand stitches on the page. It's big and I already did close to a thousand pages so I decided to just stop there. <laughs> So yeah, really happy, as I said, close to a thousand stitches in one day. With this one, it's always fairly easy to do that because first of all, it's very big. Um, and second of all, I'm only stitching with one color. Um, I'm stitching 10 stitches and that's always fast. This one is stitched on a 32 count uh, linen and I'm stitching two over one 10 stitch on it. So this is the whole piece. Um, I have so far finished five pages and I'm working on my sixth page down here. Yeah, I really love this piece as well. I basically say that for all of my pieces because for all of my pieces it's true. Um, yeah, that's that. Okay, then let's move to yesterday. So Sunday. Yesterday was a super busy day. Um, basically, in the morning, I woke up um, and prepared myself for work. I did get a few stitches in, probably around 20, um, and then I left for work. After work, I went uh, to meet some friends at a restaurant. Um, we were out to eat, and there, after that, we went to the cinema. And I was home at midnight. <laughs> so when I got home, I finished the thread I had on my needle, um, so I did about another 100 stitches probably, but then I definitely needed to go to bath, um, so I did. But I'm not satisfied with my pro progress on that project, so we will talk about that in a bit. The project for yesterday was Mini Cinderella um, by Heaven and Earth Designs, artwork is by Alexandra Daw, and this is going to be the finished piece. So I show you a picture of what it looked like last time here. And this is where I got to. And I'm pretty sure you cannot see any difference. <laughs> um, with this project, I basically go from page to page, always take the first stitch missing. So from um, top to bottom, left to right, first stitch missing. And with that, color I then do one length of thread and then I move on to the next page until I move down and did one length of thread in every page. Um, page one is already done so I started with page two and the first color missing in that was 762 um, and it was white and basically it had a lot of confetti stitches all in this white area that I have already stitched so you don't see any difference. <laughs> And that's fine. I know that um, and it's still fine because at least you get to see the project again and I did get a little bit of progress on it but as I said I'm not I'm not satisfied with the project I, progress I made yesterday. It's just not enough. Um, this one is stitched on a 28 count light blue even leaf. I'm stitching one over one four crosses and I have to see how I hold my head so you can actually see the pro project. Um, the needle miner on here is from Denka Designs. Yeah, I originally had hoped to actually finish this project this year. That's not going to happen. But I hope 
to set myself up for a finish in 2022, which is unlikely, but I would at least like to try. Um, therefore, 100 stitches is not enough. Um, so let's start talking about plans because that's the last project I stitched on. For travel stitching, I this time took my crochet and I did not get a lot done, so I'm not going to show that. But let's talk about plans. I'm going to continue with stitching on a different project every day um, until Wednesday. So today and tomorrow, I'm going to stitch on one project um, like I'm now used to. And on Wednesday, I'm going home to my parents. Um, so on Wednesday, I do have one project assigned for the day, but it's only a half day because I'm traveling and then I will be at my parents. So I decided um, to take another half day the day I come back, um, which is next Monday. Um, and for that day, it's exactly the same. I'm traveling, I'm coming home. Um, I don't have a whole lot of time at home. Um, so therefore, two half days should work out that I actually get some progress in. Everything in between, so everything I stitch on at my parents will be stitched on Mini Cinderella. So I only have to take two projects, both with not a lot of colors, um, because the project with the two half days is Twisted Band Sampler, which works out pretty well because it's my travel stitching normally. Um, so it's really perfect to use that while traveling. I'm going to my parents by plane. Um, so that, that should work out pretty good. And then I have Mini Cinderella. It only has 16 colors, I think, and three I have already finished. So that's nice. <laughs> um, and that will be fairly easy to stitch at my parents' then, um, when I have the time. Um, so that's basically the plan for next week. And on Tuesday next week, I will be back with another video. I'm not able to do one on Monday. As I said, I'm coming home from my parents. I also have to work. Um, so there, there's just no way I'm doing a video. It's super hard to do one today, but next week it will be even worse. <laughs> so I'm just going to do that on Tuesday. Um, yeah, I think that's everything plan-wise. I'm going to show you the project I'm going to stitch on today, um, which is Story Keep the Frog Prince by Heaven and Earth Designs. The artwork is by Melanie Dallin. This is the finished piece. So I'll show you where I'm at. This is where I'm at with this one. So this one I'm stitching in 10 by 10 blocks as well. I have already reached the top right corner and um, I'm presently in here with my stitching. So I will continue over there. Not going to manage to do the whole diagonal, but I'm hoping for four to five hundred um, stitches. That would be really nice. We will see if that's actually possible or not. Um, as I said, I'm going to leave for work in 10 minutes. <laughs> so, yeah, we will see about that. But this is today's project and um, I'm going to hope, I hope to actually get some progress in. Um, regarding Mini Cinderella, because I said I'm just not satisfied with the progress I made, um, normally I decided to, I have one night shift left this year, and I actually decided to take my crochet piece um, for the rest of the year whenever I go to work, and I decided against that now, for the night shift I'm going to take Mini Cinderella in the hopes to just do a little bit more progress on that. In the night shift, I had Mini Cinderella with me before. I can probably do around 400 stitches. So that's that's nice then. 100 yesterday and the 400 in the night shift equals 500, which is a good progress for a day for me. Um, I had that question in the comment on my last video, how much stitching time I get in a day. If I have an early shift, um, and not much else to do, I normally get in around five to six hours. 
Um, on the day I'm off of work, I normally don't do much more because I then just don't feel like stitching anymore. With a late shift, it's usually a little bit less um, because I usually don't stitch a whole lot before I go to work, but afterwards. And when I come home at 10 or 11 p.m., there's just not that much time left. Um, so I end with about two or three hours of stitching. Um, I also got the question how many stitches I managed to do in an hour. That does totally depend on uh, whatever project I'm stitching on. For example, Dragon Dancer, I just uh, showed you, where I got to 1,000 stitches in a day. That's a super fast project. I stitch only one color, I stitch 10 stitch, and there's normally um, bigger blocks of color, so that's faster. Um, so that's the reason I normally get high amounts of numbers of stitches done on Dragon Dancer. Super size max color once upon a fairy tale. That's not fast. <laughs> it has a ton of colors. Um, I stitch in 10 by 10 blocks, so I restrict myself a bit more. Um, and in those 10 by 10 blocks, I sometimes have about 50 colors. So that's not fast at all. Um, I still enjoy it a lot, but it's just not, not fast. So it really depends on the project, whatever I'm stitching on. Um, I don't care how many stitches I do in an hour, I just enjoy the process of stitching um, and not normally care how much I do. Um, I just I want to see a little bit of difference when I'm done. And that's the reason Mini Cinderella bugs me so much this time, because there, there's no way you can see any difference. Even I know where I did stitch, it's really hard for me to tell any difference. So I'm just not satisfied with that. And therefore, I'm going to stitch on that again. Otherwise, that's basically it. And I also really need to leave for work. So um, I'm done with this video. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to edit hopefully this evening and hopefully I will be able to actually upload today. Um, but we will see about that. It's just sometimes life gets in the way and uh, especially in, during the winter time. As I said, I basically was done with um, preparing everything um, shortly prior to 8 and it was way too dark to, to start filming. Um, and yeah, now it's, it's slowly or it was bright enough. But in the summertime, starting at 7 is no problem. Now I really have to wait until 9 before I can start. So that's kind of the problem with the, with the winter time as well. But I managed. I'm really happy about that. It's, I have it on tape. <laughs> and I now can start editing. And that's what I'm going to do after work. Um, so, yeah. I hope you have a wonderful um, week. Happy holidays. And uh, stay safe. Stay healthy. Even though we have the holidays, I know I set up travel to, to my family, um, which I probably shouldn't do. But it's been a while since I saw them all, especially my grandparents, so I just couldn't say no. Um, but yeah, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye!